everybody welcome to crafty Ames workshop today I am coming to you after a beautiful vacation that I had in Florida um, uh, we got to go to the beach we got to visit with our families um, uh, we got to go to four different beaches actually um, and it was it was just beautiful I actually got to do some shopping so that's what this video is going to be about we're going to do a Florida haul um, I went to Dollar Tree, I went to Target, went to Michael's, um, I think that's it. If I think of something, I'll say it within the, the video. Um, so I just wanted to show you some things that I got, um, some things, see I'm from Tennessee, so I wanted to see what, um, what Florida had to offer. And, oh, I also went to Goodwill, so I'll show you what I got there. Now, I was on limited funds, so I wasn't able to buy a whole lot, but, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I've got, and then hopefully in uh, uh, videos uh, coming up, I will go ahead and work on some of the things that I bought from these stores. So, let's go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to start with what I got at Target, and it was only one thing, and it actually was opened, but I got it anyways. Um, so I got a Thomas Kincaid puzzle, thousand piece puzzle, and I just thought it was the most beautiful picture. I've been wanting one that was really pretty. And there's really the what it's gonna look like when it's done. I just really wanted a puzzle. Uh, my grandmother who we visited, she has one on her wall. It's not this particular picture, of course, but um, something very pretty. And uh, I just wanted to get one. And this was the only one. Everything else they had had Mickey Mouse on it or something to do with Disney. And I just really just wanted a plain Thomas Kincaid picture. So that's what I got. Thousand pieces. Uh, now, the box was open, but the package inside was not. So, surely all the pieces are in. There's no holes in it. So, hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, so the next place I went was... Dollar Tree and let me just say when you check out and you're buying these wall creations make sure your cashier does not fold it in half because this one is now damaged but maybe by the time I get it on the wall it'll be okay but I'm loving these arrows and it goes with my crafty Ames theme uh, my um, YouTube channel name and so I could not resist this was a dollar so I'm gonna put that on my crafty Ames workshop wall and so I just thought that was pretty just a dollar I found two of these um, clear coloring clear stamps um, by Hampton art um, and I have bought some previously. In fact, I have like six of them. And I had, they had some of the same ones I had already, but I looked through them and these were two that I did not have. So I went ahead and got those. This one looks like a city or a bridge. Wooded. Two little houses. And they come with these little teeny tiny stamps. So every now and then when you go into Dollar Tree, you need to go in there and, and check if, if you like doing uh, journals and things like that. You may want to look into seeing if they have these. So there's that. I bought myself some whiteout correction pens because, and these are really good by the way. I have previously used them and they really work well so I recommend those. So these are by Jot and you get two for a dollar. Next thing is, which I've used one of the brushes already for my shells, um, is just a cheap pack of paint brushes. You get five, five paint brushes for a dollar. So that was pretty good. Of course I didn't have any of this 
in Florida, I didn't bring it with me because I have tons of brushes here at home, but um, so I didn't have any there, so I went ahead and got that. Um, they also have, I think these are probably new coming out. These are just some note cards and envelopes. And I thought I could use those in my junk journals or faith, faith journals that I like to create. I got a poly, it's called a poly envelope. You get two of those. And I thought I could use this for nursing school. Hopefully that will be this January. They have a bunch of planner stickers. And so I wanted to get them all, of course, but... I didn't. I got this one, which is more of the buggy, more na nature type cartoony pictures. There's some on the back. And I like that because of Florida, of course. So hopefully I'll get my planner out and get going on that. There's that one. This one. back of it. You get quite a few stickers and these were just a dollar. So I don't know if you guys can get them any cheaper than that. Let me know. I just like Dollar Tree. I'm a sucker for Dollar Tree. I don't know why. I just am. But I thought I could use these in my notebooks, in my uh, planners for school and for my house. Um, I also got these, which I have an idea for an address book. I'm using these, so I don't know. I may do it on camera. I may not. And that's if I even do it. But these are all, these are fire, file folder labels. Um, you get 150 in each. Um, this one's blue. You have a clear with a little teeny tiny blue line right there. This one's orange. And then you've got the green. I got those. I'm getting ready to get ready for school. So that's what all this is about. I found this little placemat. And I just thought it was so pretty, so bright. Um, I am probably going to use it in one of my journals. Make it a cover because I just really like that. So that was just a dollar. You just never know where you can find your fabrics. And I just really like that. So that's the paisley type look in blue, orange, several different blues, orange, and some green in it. And the last two things are these photo albums, which I really need to get on the ball of getting all of my pictures that we have developed already, get those in photo albums or something get them in order somehow because I have so many right now it's pathetic I need to really get busy on that so maybe I can get all my photo boxes done before I go to school that would be nice I went to Michael's um, and I was just looking around of course that gets me into trouble and I have been wanting a true traveler's notebook I have made my own and I love it I use it I don't use it all the time but I do love it but when I went into Michaels um, I came across the Bible journaling type traveler's notebooks they call it the string journal and booklet set this is the particular one I got of course in pink because I love pink um, so I got this, which comes with three different uh, inserts. I love it. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this exclusively for Bible journaling or I'm going to do a mixture of things. I don't know yet. I just fell in love with it. And I had to get it. It was 60% off. At least that day it was. And the inserts were also 60% off. So I think this was $6. 
with the insert, with the three inserts. So the one insert you got was just a lines insert. You can see, sorry, there's the lines. The second insert was graph, just the graph paper. And the third insert is pray continually. And so this will be my prayer journal on this one. And then the other two here I haven't decided on. But I also got, oh, and the quality of this is pretty good. I mean, it's not leather. It's faux leather. Um, it does have place to put cards if you want to put your credit cards or if you want to put um, some little trinket cards or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Um, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to use, uh, put a little card in there that has a, a beautiful verse that I like or a saying that I like. And I'll put it in there. There's also a place to put um, a pin. And then you've got a fourth ring here or band here that you can put a fourth book in. And then if you know anything about um, the traveling note, traveler's notebooks, you know that you can also put, let's see, you can take two of these, put them together with a, put them together with another uh, string, and then put those in there as well. There's all kinds of videos on Traveler's Notebooks. You need to check those out if you don't know what they are, but they're really cool. But this is uh, small enough to put in my backpack purse, my uh, Kava, uh, how do you say that, Kavu? backpack purse whatever and uh so there's that but i also got some inserts other inserts so i've got the the planner let's see it has it is the calendar and it has your month let's see it says always plan ahead which is really pretty. I like that. And then it has your undated, which I really love. So I could use this next year, the year after, if I don't use it right away. You know, I can put in my months. Um, you've got the week at a glance um, and fill in your stuff for that. So I really like that. And then you have a place back here for notes. So that's really nice. I got that one. I have one called Verse Notes. I mean, I know this isn't new. I think they had drawn these out early this year. Um, and so I'm just really, I, I, I didn't notice it until just the other day. So I'm, I'm a little behind as usual. But here's Verse Notes. The Lord is my helper. And so in this, you have a section to do... Uh, your date, category, book of, you know, whatever book you're reading, the chapter, and then the verse, and then whatever notes that you want to put in about that, or you could, may even want to just make a picture about that verse or whatever. So I really like that. Um, the next one, this one is, this one is the dotted one, which I really wanted. I'm starting to get into bullet journaling. I haven't started yet, but I've been look, doing a lot of research on it. And um, this book, the dots on it, the dots are pretty big. Or not the dots themselves, but the spacing is pretty big. So I don't know. that. I, I, we'll see. We'll see if I like it. So that's that one. So that's just a little dotted bullet journal. Adventure. I really like that. And then the last one here. This is all through American Crafts. Let's see. American, yeah, American Crafts um, from Utah. And this one is Sketch. And it's just plain white paper. So I might try to do some Bible journaling or just do some some uh, sketching or junk journaling or whatever have you, whatever I feel like doing. 
just some artsy stuff. And then, so those were all like $2, so $1.99. Um, this was $6. So, in all, that's six, seven, eight, so fourteen dollars, and you got and seven inserts, fourteen dollars, seven inserts with the cover. So, I mean, you could there's all kinds of different inserts you could have bought. Um, those are just the ones that I chose. Now, I also got some shaker dashboards. I love them. You get two in a package. These were not on sale, so I think I ended up using my 40% off discount, and they were, so I got the shaker, the shakers were $4.99, and then the 40% discount took off $2, so I got two of these for $2.99, so I really love that. Really pretty. I know I need to stop playing with it. Anyways, so what you do with that, I mean, if some of you may not be familiar with it, but all you do is you just wrap it around one of your inserts and use that as your dashboard. Um, you can put um, pictures or whatever you want, on, whatever you need to put on the dashboard. Check that out on YouTube. There's lots of videos on it. I am not giving it justice, but anyway. So, I also found um, you got a six piece stencil set. The regular price was $9.99. I believe I got these for, I don't know, I believe it was like 70% off, something like that. Maybe it was 60% off, so. You know, four bucks for six different stencils. There's summer. Um, those are, I don't know if you can see it, but that's fruit. That one is, says vacation with a flamingo on it. Um, that one. No, that's more. Oh, that's a uh, ice cream sun. Some other things. That's water. So some great things there. And then the last. Oh no, I got one of these. I'm going to be putting sand in it and some seashells and decorate it up. I might do a video on that. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. I think those were only fifty cents. I'm not sure. 50 cents or a dollar, something like that. Um, and then the last thing at Michael's I got was the Artist Loft Journal, and it's dotted. So, because I'm getting into bullet journaling, and I was unsure about the Bible one that I just showed you, I saw this. The dots on these are a lot closer together. I don't know if you can see. I wish my lighting was better. I really need to invest in lighting. So anyway, so this journal I'm really impressed with. I'm hoping, let's see, did I, I think I wrote in the back to see, nope, I didn't. I wanted to see if it had any bleed through or anything like that in it. Um, so I am going, I think I might use this for my nursing. I might go ahead and start bullet journaling my nursing school and we'll see I don't know we'll see I haven't decided yet it's all in the works all in the works oh and then I did buy some glue all I think that was at Target so that we could paint the sand dollars with glue a mixture of glue and water and that kind of hardens the sand dollar and protects it a little bit better than by itself okay next thing I forgot, I did get some washi tape, of course, and this was also on sale, and I can't remember how much it was. I, it was $14.99, but I think they had them for 4 or $5, so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 washi tapes in there, um, and that all has to do with summertime, which will go good with my, uh, my diary 
planner thing that I'm doing right now and one of these days I'll show you that too and how I'm getting along with that okay now let me go get the other stuff okay so the next place I went was Goodwill and I got my sister a pair of pants these are by White Stag and cotton made in Vietnam blah 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 anyways these were really cute just capris um, really light but it looks like denim light material or fabric so the next thing I got at Goodwill was this box I wish I could pull back some more for you um, it's like a shoe type box decorative shoe box um, and I'm thinking about putting pictures in this kind of organize them um, and just I'm just trying to find different ways that I can get all these pictures that I have from over the years that I've done nothing with. Um, oh, and it's even got the little thing on the side here too. So, if you guys got ideas for that, let me know. I would love to have some ideas for what to do with pictures. Okay, so what I got there was. I got a set of 12 shower curtain hooks, but I thought I could use these in my craft room here because I haven't made my curtains. If you guys watched my spring cleaning <coughs> video, you would uh, know that I have plans to make curtains for my doorway over here. Um, and I thought this would be really cool to have these little diamond type um, things on the top to give it some flair. I really like that. And then in between those, because it's such a wide section, I have to have um, a large amount of hooks. I also bought these, so maybe they'll be able to go together. I don't know. These are just little, I don't know if you can see that little balls on the end of that. But these were both $1.99 each. I found this. It was... 99 cents. This is an old calendar from 2008. Um, the reason I got this, it's pretty much useless right now, but I thought I could put it in my junk journals because um, there's some really cute pictures, some really cute sayings, and I can just cover up the date or be creative and do something with it. But I thought that would be really cute to put into my junk journals because they're just really cute just a whole all kinds of different little pictures in it just a way to use up some cute artwork I don't know if you can see all that so that was one thing and one other thing I bought at Goodwill that I'm just so happy about is they had this for 99 cents, it was it's a bunch of different strings to use for cross uh, cross stitching or other things. I might actually use this string because it's kind of a thick string. I might use it for making my books. Oh, but here are some of the ropes so I could either separate these and make smaller strings of course or just use this and that's probably what I will do because I'm running out of book string or you know wax string to use for my making books with so I might just do that because they're nice and silky so 99 cents I get the plastic container I get the cardboard string holders and a whole ton of string. If you can see that. So, I think I made out with that. And I think that's all I got. So I'm pretty pleased with all that. Oh, I did save the Whoppers container. I might make a book out of that. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm hoping for future videos it's going to be on seashells, um, more on the candy wrapper stuff because I really like that and I think other people did too. Um, so please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that button 
subscribe button and um, the bell to get alerted when I have new videos up. I usually have a new video up every Thursday. Um, sometimes it's Friday due to complications with my computer. Um, someday I'll get that fixed. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you get to go on vacation and soak up some sun. Enjoy yourself. Do some great crafting. And um, I will see you next Thursday. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.